Use it or lose it. It's a simple enough expression that applies to many parts of our lives. I believe it holds extra significance, though, to the half million people that are diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease last year in North America. One of these people was a gentleman named Brian. Brian was diagnosed with early stage Alzheimer's last fall. Now, I don't need to tell you all the ways that Alzheimer's is devastating for patients and their families, but I'd like to tell you about a new treatment option that can help early stage patients like Brian shore up their brain's defenses against the destruction caused by Alzheimer's. One of the first brain functions that's affected by Alzheimer's is spatial navigation. This is the thought process used to try and find your way around an area. In our lab, we investigate how virtual reality navigation games can help detect Alzheimer's by detecting losses in spatial navigation. Elderly users, like Brian, often have difficulty interacting with virtual environments. They have trouble using joysticks and game pads, and they have a hard time buying into virtual environments that are presented on television screens or computer monitors. To get around this issue, we use this custom wheelchair and virtual reality headset. The wheelchair captures a person's motion in the real world and translates it to the virtual world. This makes it incredibly intuitive to use. To move about, a person just needs to sit in the chair and they can shuffle around. They can look around and be totally immersed in the virtual environment thanks to the headset. Most of our experiments involve navigating in this virtual house. The person is shown the house from the outside with a single target window marked with an X. The X is taken away, then the person is asked to enter the house, go to the correct floor, and try and find the correct window. Our computer program can score a person's spatial navigation depending on how many errors they make. But here's the kicker. By repeatedly practicing in this virtual environment, we can use it for treatment rather than just diagnosis. I want you to let that sink in for a moment. I'm talking about non-invasive brain treatment. That means no pills, no needles, no drugs, no sedation. Just a brain strengthening itself through a simple natural learning process. Now you're probably asking yourself, does that really work? My research shows the answer is yes. You see, I did this treatment with the real Brian. We spent seven weeks practicing the virtual house exercise. When he started, he could barely locate any of the windows. But by the end of the seven weeks, Brian could find each and every window with no errors. Brian and his wife also reported improvements at home. Brian is happier, he's more confident, and he has better navigation skills while driving. Alzheimer's disease affects the mind by destroying the very cells that make up the brain. My work shows that video games can help detect this destruction and help the brain work around it. Use it, don't lose it.